Hey, what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today I've got your usual breakdown for Isanzo's 26 step blog. So today's blog is all about the barracks, which is basically just a fancy way of saying the game's progression and cosmetic systems. So if you've played Tannenberg or Verdun, you know that the way you unlocked more guns slash loadouts for each class was by spending skill points, which were really just arbitrary markers given to you for playing the game. You could get any preceding loadout for your class by spending one skill point, and quite frankly, the system was flawed in a lot of ways, primarily because they were so easy to get, and because of that, I never once in playing Verdun have not had the skill point to get the next level for my class. But now for Isanzo's side of things. We have some major improvements to the system, so you can now view all your classes and unlocks for both equipment and cosmetics in one much more user-friendly UI. Interestingly enough, most of the people I've introduced to the World War I game series experience the most confusion when trying to select their equipment, so this seems like a major step up for the game. But now let's take a look at the actual unlock system. Each preceding weapon will be unlocked through class specific challenges that will double as the quote unquote tutorial for each class. Basically, they'll make you do what the class is supposed to do in order to unlock the next levels of equipment, weapons, and cosmetics. This seems to be a pretty innovative way to push for some more team-oriented gameplay, and honestly, it sounds like a pretty great way to spice up the replayability. They provide an example here that I'll quote directly. Once you reach level 2, the first challenge will unlock, Combat Experience 1, which simply requires you to kill 10 enemies and participate in capturing or recapturing an objective. That challenge will unlock the ammo box equipment along with two rifles, one Italian and one Austro-Hungarian. Further down the line, another challenge will require you to use that newly unlocked ammo box to resupply your comrades. So these challenges will give you things for both sides, and you can keep gaining experience and unlocks for both teams regardless which one you're playing as in-game. Another listed challenge is a later challenge unlocks grenades as secondary weapons, which leads to the next challenge where you must make use of those grenades to achieve Grenadier 1, which calls for you to kill 20 enemies with grenades and 20 enemies with a bayonet. And one final detail to touch on here is that the players who reach level 20 will receive the late war uniforms, which feels very fitting to me, pun intended. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Bobo Rail here from the Christopher Beast channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.